Uh, as you can see, everything is going good here. I've got a lot of stuff still to plant. I've got new seeds I started over here. Um, cucumbers. And this is peppers. And I've got okra. And I've got a couple zucchinis. Um, we did lose some things several weeks ago when it got down in the 22, 23 at night. As you can see, we lost some plants there. But if you are on my Facebook page, you've seen where I said I have a seed addiction. Well, now you can see why. Um, <laughs> I've kind of went a little crazy with seeds this year. Um, but we have everything from beans to corn to carrots to lettuce to herbs. So... Um, that's where I said we have a seed of seed addiction. So, um, but this is my stevia plant. You can see it's starting to grow very nice. Um, green basil and purple basil. And then, um, the greenhouse is working great. I love it. Um, what I do got to do is our vents are solar. So they open and close, um, at certain degrees. I think they open at 70 and close at 40, but we want to go ahead. Oh, it's raining out now. That's lovely. Um, so I always put a latch on my, it's not completely done, but these are my peppers that I planted. I had to put a, a wire over them so that the cats would leave them alone. Um, and then we've got peas and corn growing over there. And these are my strawberry plants back here in the bottom. Uh, up here I've got cilantro, two types of cilantro growing up here. I'm going ahead and putting my styrofoam blocks up and my things. And up here we also have strawberries so i'm hoping oh look we do have little strawberries look at that one growing see that um let's see any other ones oh we got little ones growing here got some more growing here over on the other side of the house we also have some strawberry plants so these are my pole beans i've already planted them this is my bush beans down here We've got cabbage and broccoli planted. Oh, something, something tunneled. Oh, that looks like a big snake hole. That's scary. Um, this trough we bought from a friend and it leaked. So we made good use out of it. So you can see I have white onions planted here. Broccoli, this is full of broccoli and white onions. So, and over here, I have to put this netting on because the cats keep getting under the stuff. So here we have carrots growing. If you can see them, they're growing really good. So this stuff I will probably take and cover up this week when they say we're going to have our frost. This bed is full of potatoes. Um, under here is asparagus. Um, it's starting to grow, if you can see it. There is three different kinds of asparagus in this bed. And then this is all of our garlic. So we have a lot of garlic. Three different kinds, no, four different kinds of garlic. Every four foot section is a garlic, different kind. So we've got potatoes in here and we've got green onions growing along with them. So over here we have, we have celery growing along with um, cabbage and Brussels sprouts. I think Brussels sprouts are down there. I can't ever remember, I have to look at my map. I kind of map my garden out and then that's what we do. So. And over here, we have lettuce. 
several types of lettuce growing. This I had with spinach, but I'm not seeing it come up. So I may have to replant it. And this is also lettuce, different types. So you can come out and make a salad right here out of this bowl. So the pool is doing great. Looks like the solar cover blew around with the wind we had yesterday. I can't wait till they come and do the concrete next week. Um, we did get one good day out of it. Saturday we swam. Well, everybody did but me. It was too cold for me. So, but it's looking good. And we'll go check on the, we're cleaning stalls today. There's Lovey. There's my little possum wait. She's waiting for the possum to come out, aren't you? You waiting for the possum to come out? Yeah, you are. I'm gonna walk in here. See what everybody's doing. So, uh-oh. Did that light blow again? Them chickens must be pecking that light or something. So this is the meat birds. We're getting ready to clean out their um, enclosure. We need to get ready to move them. They're getting pretty big. So that's them. Here are the baby chicks that we hatched out. Hi guys. Look at them. They're getting so big. Look at them. Say hi. Say hi. And as you can see, they are under their sweeter heater. They're so cute. There's Pippin. This is Pippin, my daughter's favorite little chick. The only brown one we had. What's everybody doing? Huh? All right. And so a lot of you probably seen on my post, we had a, um, I'm gonna plug in her sweeter heater. We had a possum get in and killed one of our chickens. And then this girl had her, her back end bit off um, under her tail. Hey, baby girl. But it is um, healing pretty good. So she is quite happy with her heater as you can see more sweeter heaters hi pretty girl yeah all right so i didn't leave her out because of course chickens like to peck things that are red and she was bleeding back here in her tail area maybe i can get her to show you here i don't know so now so she's just resting for now and she'll go back out in the coop probably in a couple days. So today is, we're going to be cleaning everything, cleaning up, <clears throat> cleaning stalls, putting new shavings in. Ashley's down here working. Oh, look, the dogs are in here getting horse treats. Oh, yes. Why not? There's Stephanie doing her horse stall. The dogs are sneaking out. Did Ginger give you any problems leaving or was she already out? Huh? She wouldn't, she wouldn't get out. So we're cleaning the horse or the cow stall. Can you say hi? <laughs> Where is Ginger? Let's see Ginger. There's Ginger. Max, get out of there. Max is in her in her pasture. Ginger, what are you letting Max in there for? Ginger has got a very big belly now. Look at that big belly. So Ginger is due next month. About this time, I think she's due on June 6th or June 7th. So about a month away. And she'll be having a little baby. She was bred to a... A2, A2, Jersey Bull. Max. Max. Come on. Max. You better go holler for him before she gets him. Come on, get out of there, Max. Come on. Psh, Come on. Get up there. So. <clears throat> All right. So, everybody's busy. 
chickens are out enjoying the ducks are out oh happy happy <laughs> So that is where our possum was coming through, but my husband concreted it. Now the possum can't get through. All of my ladies. Hi, ladies. Oh, that was my rooster. <laughs> Max, you're not getting in there. Oh, the ducks just love the watery mess. And let's walk back and check on the pigs. What's up, guys? Girls? Boys? You guys laid an egg out here again? <laughs> they lay, it's like an Easter egg hunt for duck eggs around here they just lay everywhere in the grass in their pen and we will walk out uh oh fence board's broken we're getting ready to replace all of this fence which we were going to do this week i think i'm going to have to run an electric strand so ginger stays away from it because she's going to break through my fence soon Let's see where the piggies are Let's see. They're all sleeping. Let's look in here. Oh, the piggies are all sleeping. It's cold and raining, so. They're so cute. Piggy, piggies. Hi, piggy, piggies. <laughs> so. an eye on them if it's going to get real cold I may have to hey Max run another sweeter heater out here for them one of the big ones hi ladies hi yeah look at them pretty girls look at all them pretty girls yeah So this is the pen we usually keep the meat birds in, but we're actually gonna put them in a separate pen because um, we're gonna let the chickens have this. We're gonna start free ranging our chickens to where they can run all, all around. I just have to do it slowly <laughs> so that our puppy Max doesn't try to eat them. And um, I think he's the only one I would have problems with. Jenga likes to chase him every once in a while, but looks like we had a fence board break, which isn't good. This fence is about worn out anyways, but we're getting ready to replace it. Hopefully this week we start on it, but all right. Well, other than that, I'm going to go help the girls with the daily chores. Well, we've already done chores. It's kind of like the the afternoon chores. Max, what are you doing? Them are mine, Max. Max, mine. Let's go. Come on, Max. So, we did clean out the meat bird pen. Um, as you can see, we've got fresh straw. Feeders are full. My daughter's about ready to fill the water. We did raise the um, sweeter heater up. As you can see. So, this week we're going to move them outside. I'm going to keep an eye on the temperatures. I mean, they still have room in here to move around and play, but I'll keep an eye on the temperatures. And I think they'll go outside today. So we got that all cleaned out, fresh hay down for them to um, play in. 
So now we're going to do their cage. So, what are you guys doing? Hmm? Yep, we're gonna give you guys some fresh hay. So you guys can raise their sweeter heater up also. So, all right. So we've got the cages cleaned out. The little birds are happy. Ashley and Steffi are cleaning this stall because we always make a mess in here with hay. Leave this hay here, we'll use it. That Steffi put. Put this stuff right here, stuff under the cage. So everybody is happy. So, all right, Trixie and Max. Steffi put her tent in here and she hasn't even slept in here yet. Whew. We've got nice clean stalls. The hay bag is full for apple. <clears throat> and Ginger is down here eating her hay. And looky, let's see what the baby's doing. Good afternoon, Ginger. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, she's a good girl. Yes, you are, aren't you? You're a good girl. Let me shut that. Yeah, yeah her's a good girl. Look at the baby. There's a baby in that belly. You got baby in your belly. Yes, you do, don't you? You wicked, huh? You wicked, huh? The baby is so big now. Goodness. The baby is so big now. You ain't your hay. Hmm? You ain't your hay. What's that? Huh? I'll give you a little alfalfa. You want some alfalfa? Okay, just love rain. So, as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Oops. <laughs> and um, give my video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you have any comments, leave them below. All right, you guys have a good day. Thank you.